and welcome back to my playthrough of Back to the Future Back in Time. I believe it's Marty's turn. We really haven't made a lot of progress here on the Law of Meter. The DeLorean hasn't really moved a thing. I mean, we moved it one space and then it moved one space back because of Biff's new trouble card. But at least we were able to gather some of those DeLorean parts and we have the tougher ones. So right now, only the DeLorean part, the cable, is waiting here at Hill Valley High. So I think we should be okay in respect to that. So we really have to start moving the DeLorean and have to make some progress on the love meter. Overall, I'm really thinking of moving down here to Lorraine's house because we have two opportunity cards waiting for us there. Lorraine is also not too far from us. So in theory, we could gain two of those power tokens and if you're really extremely lucky we could also gain Lorraine's locket item again I haven't checked those out so I have no clue what they do so maybe this might be our plan but before we jump into our action phase we have to deal with the turn tracker here so we are moving here which means we have to draw a movement card and a movement card only okay and that's exactly what I didn't want Lorraine to do move Lorraine to north shops yeah, that's terrible. That's really terrible. So our plan just, whatever, bursted. We would move or would activate Biff two times. And normally he would now move down to or move over to Lorraine. But again, we have this trouble card here, which says instead of affecting George Lorraine and the love meter, we are moving it toward the DeLorean. And right now Biff is already next to the DeLorean. So I think overall that's definitely not the worst thing in the world but of course we still have to beam Lorraine from George's house here to the north shops and oh, one two three one two no I think it didn't really matter in this case actually because we had to spend two movement tokens anyway for Marty to move her down to Lorraine's house so I think overall that was really not too terrible okay I think I think I take that. So maybe we really want to stick to the plan. So let's simply move maybe, uh, let's use this tile here again. This lets me move up to three spaces. And here it doesn't matter which direction. Of course, we could go here and get rid of the trouble card here, but the trouble is getting replaced anyway and getting new ones. So I think let's not worry about that too much right now. So one, two, three, that was the first tile we spent. That's okay. And I guess then we are um, pretty much using this power token here also moving three spaces one and two down to Lorraine's house and thematically let's put them inside the um, house and here it doesn't really matter which one to go for first but I believe I want this one here first actually because we need Lorraine here so if everything something goes south I think that's definitely the better deal. And we might still do something with that. I think that's okay, actually. That's pretty cool. Before we are doing anything else, we are spending our notebook here. Exhaust this item to move George up to two spaces toward you. Nicely done. And George is over here. One, two. Cool stuff. So again, they are together. And that's usually something that you want to, or the situation that you want to have. At least the rules speak about it. But yes, it makes sense because you can do the love action and whatnot. So I think that was okay. Now we are spending um, this tile here in order to gain two of those symbols here. So we are doing this opportunity challenge and yeah, having a Baines family dinner. Apparently George joined us as well, but I think that's not the worst thing in the world. In the end, we want that. Wow, that's three symbols. We only needed one. I take that. So we are getting one more power token. So let's see what we get. Ooh, we can reroll Biff symbols. Oh, wow. That's so crazy important, at least <laughs> in respect to how well I'm rolling here. I mean, wow, that's really a perfect, perfect, perfect tile. So we put it, unfortunately, um, face down on our player board and we still can grab the locket item. So let's see about that. If you are with Lorraine, exhort this item to advent and influence love challenge even without George at your location. Oh, that's so powerful. Good thing is, oh, bad thing is it's exhausted for this turn. But that's okay because right now they're together anyway. So I think before I do anything else, I will do a love action, right? Using this heart symbol here. So let's flip it to the other side. 
We only have this, but that's okay. Biff is up there. He's taking care of the DeLorean. So I think nothing really bad can happen here. But I believe before we are doing this action, we have to replenish the opportunity cards. They always have to be three. I think that's the case. There's only one card. Yes, it is. Okay. Build a not to scale model of Hill Valley. How nice is that? Everything feels so thematic. We need to be at Doc Brown's house and we get the remote control item. Could be nice. And in fact, the remote control item is really here on the bottom so we can have a peek. It's also time to tank and move DeLorean charge regardless of your location. Oh, wow, that's powerful. We need this. Okay, that's a great opportunity. Maybe this time for Doc. Let's see about that. That's okay. And now we are doing the love challenge. So I flip the power tile or power token accordingly and <laughs> it's a biff. In theory, we had this one, but unfortunately we cannot use it right now um, because yeah, it comes to the game exhausted. Biff would activate, but again, before because of the trouble card, we cannot do anything right now. I think that was okay, other than we didn't really make any progress. So why not go after this one here, maybe? Why not some... Let's try to meet Uncle Drew. I mean, we just had the family dinner, so we might as well yeah, go after him. So we will definitely use our science prepared DeLorean die here. So this gives us the green die we need. We only need one success. And I must say so far, the clock tower dice tower really works well so far. Okay, and that's the lightning we needed. Oh, that's a wild, which means we have taken care of this one. We get yet another power token. What is it? Okay, we can treat those prepared DeLorean as wild cards, so similar to what Doc Brown has. I think that's okay. It comes to the game exhausted, unfortunately, but that's still okay. This one gets discarded. We are drawing a new one. And here we have Doc's invention, also at Doc Brown's house. Um, draw one pay and gain the mind reading helmet item. Okay, again, not checking this one out. Again, I believe if you played it once or twice, you know all those items, at least to some extent. And usually I think there's no rule that tells you you're not supposed to look. But again, I want to explore the game. And I really like the surprises here. Okay, let's place it down next to the model here. And oh yeah, Martin still has one more token, which is this one. And in theory, he has a one on a four, one out of three chances to roll a heart or a not a heart, but a wild symbol. So we could still do the love action. And I think right now, let's do that. So we will spend this die. This gives us unfortunately only the yellow one. But again, there is a chance and that's a Biff. We cannot reroll the Biff. Biff. Biff isn't doing anything. So maybe there will be an error to at some point in time that in a situation like this, he will still then continue to move toward Lorraine or so. But I think that's okay. We catch some breath here. That's I, I will not complain about this. This was the complete turn of Marty. I will reactivate all of his cards and power tokens. And then it's time to activate Doc Brown here. First of all, we will move the turn tracker here. So we are removing this level two trouble card. It's really out of the game and we are drawing a new one. So yeah, there will be two trouble, three cards later on. And here we have Gang causes Rukus at the cafe, Loose Cafe. Each time a movement card causes George or Lorraine to enter Loose Cafe. Wow, lower the love meter by one. Wow, that's so bad. And they're right next to that. Woo, okay. Let's put it here. I think maybe really want to get rid of this. I think we have to do something about that. So let's place it here. That's that's a nasty one. That's a really nasty one. And now Biff will also start moving towards those lovebirds again. And we still have to draw the movement card, of course. And move Lorraine clockwise one space. And in this case, we really dodge the bullet because Lorraine is not moving into a Lorraine, um, loose cafe. Biff will activate twice and I think Lorraine is closer to him. So let's have him move one, two spaces over here to the north shops. And that's about it, I guess. So, wow. <sighs> I think uh, the problem is that I'm not sure if Doc Brown is the right one to deal with this trouble card here, because that's the perfect test or challenge for Marty, who has this awesome power token here. And in theory, they could meet there to deal with it, but you can assist another player, but you cannot move on another player's turn. So if you happen to be there, then everything is okay. But in this case, I don't think that's gonna happen. So maybe we really want to start moving the DeLorean now at some point. And we don't have to do that right now, 
because Doc can beam there to the DeLorean anyway in his turn. So I think that's still okay. Right now, he's right next to the DeLorean part. So maybe that's the first thing that we should do. And I guess let's do that. I think we are only spending this one die here or this one token. Flip it to the other side getting the die. If you're rolling a biff, then yeah, that's definitely bad. But at least right now he's still one step away. So let's see about that. And that's two. I take it. So perfect. We have dealt with the last DeLorean part. So we place it right next to the other. So we have taken care of this whole thing. Now I start to feel that maybe Doc Brown could be a little bit useless in respect to his power tokens because he really has a hell of a lot of those symbols here. Of course, there are opportunities out there and whatnot that make them use and you can use them to move. But apart from that, I'm not so sure if that's great or not. Okay, that was only one token. So maybe we want to deal with some of those now. I mean, getting the remote control, we saw that was pretty powerful, actually. So when he gets this, he can really steer the DeLorean like crazy at least two times per turn without really spending anything to move there. I think this could be very, very important. So yes, we are spending this tile here. Sorry, this tile here just for movement doesn't really matter. So we are moving down here to Doc Brown's house. And I guess, yeah, we are going after this one. So we are spending this time this. So we have to roll two dice. And we cannot, I believe at least, we cannot say we are only rolling one dice out of those. So there is still a high probability we are rolling a biff or two. That uh, two would be really bad. Because again, right now he's right next to Lorraine. With one, he would move into the space. We could say, hmm, that's okay, we can still deal with it. But two would be bad. But I take four of those symbols. That was overkill for sure. But I will take it. I think that was nice. And we're getting yet another power token. Also a reroll, but unfortunately it comes into the game um, exhausted and we get the remote control item. We already seen what it is. It also comes to the game face down, but that's pretty nice. So we are removing this card and drawing a new one. Borrow George's binoculars. Draw one, gain the binoculars item. Okay, we put this next to George's house, obviously, which is now right next to both Marty and Doc. No, I think Marty's two spaces. Well, that's still fine. Doc still has four more power tokens. Hmm. This is okay because of the wild card. The thing is, he cannot really bring those two together. So maybe we really want to start moving the DeLorean now. So I will use my special power here, the Great Scott, to teleport here to the parking lot. And right now, I could even say maybe we go after this opportunity here because we could really knock down Biff for good. Ah, but right now, I think we really need to start making progress first. No, I think not. Let's spend, no, wait here. Yeah. We spend this and this, right? Yeah, we flip this to the other side. So we take those two symbols or those two dice actually. And again, we have this card, which allows us to transform hearts into um, wilds. So yeah, let's see about that. So let's clean up, let's roll those dice. And I take it, that's a movement. We are spending this die here or this token here to transform this into a wild, which means that we are now allowed to move the DeLorean one, two spaces. And Paul gave, gave me Curator twice, not using the reverse gear <laughs> in this playthrough. So we really have to start moving the DeLorean forward, not backward in this case. Doc still has one more die left. Organ, rather, a power tie left. That's the, yeah the star die. So in theory, we could go after Biff, but yeah, we cannot move to Biff. So maybe we will just use it to move down here to Doc Brown's house for this innovations opportunity or so. Or we could also move him here. Right now, I really don't know any of those. Now it's, I should really check it out to see what would be more beneficial right now. But again, thematically, I think this is the right way to go. One, two spaces down here, Doc Brown's house. So we have used all of our actions, which means we are moving back to Marty's turn. I will reset um, Doc's board. Then Marty is moving the turn tracker here. So we're doing this love meter check. 
Right now we are still in the positive, which means we only get to flip one of those. And wow, it's getting very empty. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Of course, we still have to draw a movement card here. So let's see about that. Move Lorraine clockwise two spaces. Okay, that's bad. Yes, Lorraine movement is okay. George, not so much because Lorraine will simply move here to the clock tower and she can really pass through Biff. That's not a problem. The problem now is we are moving George now one space counterclockwise which means he's now here at loose cafe each time a movement card causes george all the way to enter loose cafe lower the love meter by one so we are back down to only one zero progress in respect or one progress that's terrible but that's now the end of the turn turn tracker phase we can deal with marty and he really has some nice stuff here so he has those tokens so he could really use them to move George closer to him ah, and I think we really have to get rid of that thing here right I think we really have to it's really a tough challenge so we need two symbols we have the right one too so yes we might yeah let's let's take this one here so we are flipping the movement die here in order to move over to loose cafe then we are trying this thing here so we're getting two dice flipping this as well and i guess we have to ask lorraine to step aside a little bit I'm not getting knocked down by those dice and we're looking for two symbols mm, okay i think i really want to deal with this so we are spending this reroll all biffs but that could have been two symbols or two, uh, three movement two so let's reroll that and that's the wild we needed awesome so we have dealt with this trouble card here perfect so we are drawing one power tile Oh wow, we can transform one wild into two wilds or move to, uh, three spaces. Problem now is we don't have the space. So we really have to make a decision later on which one we are discarding. But I think we are only doing this at the end of the round, not right now. It comes to the game um, flip down anyway, but in theory we might as well still use this. I believe at least we don't have to make that choice right now. Let me check. And yes, I guess that's correct. You may have a maximum of eight power tiles unless you have backpack item card during your turn. If you received power tiles that have taken you over your limit, refresh them all and discard down to the limits. You may discard whichever power tiles you wish, including your starter power tiles. Nice. So yeah, I think we really can can keep it for now, can use the other one for movement or so. And then at the end of the turn, um, we need to discard down to eight. Nicely done. Okay, I think we will now use this tile for movement. So we are flipping it down and we are moving one, two and three tiles. Pretty much out of harm's way of Biff, at least a little bit. So I think that's okay. And now we are with Lorraine. We could use the locket now to attempt a laugh challenge, even with without. So maybe I really shouldn't have used this die now. No, I shouldn't. I really should have used this tile for the movement. And I think I want to hold on to this. I really want to make this love test count. So yes, we are spending this in doing a love challenge. And we are flipping over this one here. And we are flipping over this one here. So we get basically a green and a pinkish kind of die and then we can still use this to transform this into one wild card i mean that's okay right so let's use those die and really hope for the best okay that's too wild i take it i really take it one two steps progress here on the love meter that was really really nice i guess we are now using george's notebook exhaust this item to move george up to two spaces toward you and here i'm not sure if you have to use the shortest path or not in this case it doesn't really matter but i was really thinking about if you could him then also use him to move him deliberately away from from biff for example even though if he doesn't come closer but maybe it seems to be worded that you have to i don't know at least move him closer to you if it's only one step that's fine i don't know but for now it doesn't matter we are using the notebook to move George one, two spaces. Again, he's moving closer to us right now. He's only two spaces away. So that's definitely helpful. And I guess last but not least, we are using now this tile finally to really move here to Biff. And I guess let's hit him on the nose, right? So we are flipping this one over, 
getting one of those star symbols. And yeah, let's see about that, right? And that's two stars. <laughs> You're a star, Marty. So we are knocking him down and we are placing one of those knockout tokens right next to him. That was really, really, really nicely done. Okay, awesome. So this really feels like progress and that's also the end of Marty's turn. I will reset his board and then we are doing Doc's turn. Okay, but not so fast. We still have to deal with that. We have nine tokens and I believe we want to remove this one, right? Because yeah, this could give us one more success. So we are replacing this. This goes out of the game. Of course, we also have to unexhaust or refresh those items. They really were incredibly useful this round. Awesome. And now we are doing um, Doc's turn by starting with the turn tracker here. So we are only drawing a movement card. Move Lorraine counterclockwise three spaces and then we are basically activating Biff once. So let's see about that. One, two, three spaces here to South Shop. She's really into shopping it seems and we are activating Biff once. Uh, one means we are simply removing the knockout token for the next Biff symbol. He would stand up. I think we have already seen this and then he would continue to start moving. But overall I take it. I think that's really okay. And now for Doc Brown's actions. As we are down here, why not go for Doc, Doc's inventions? So I think let's simply, oh no, how, wait a second, we need, ha ha ha. Not a science die, we need this one here, the Biff die. So let's flip it over. We are rolling this die. And again, we are hoping for a star or a Biff. Um, <laughs> let's not go for the Biff. So we are replenishing or we are exhausting this so we can reroll this. And this is the wild we needed to deal with this challenge or opportunity here. So we are getting a power token. So again, we are at eight. So we have to just Wow, that's extremely valuable for him. So we can get rid of one of his science dice for this one. Oh, that's so cool. Unfortunately, we cannot use it this turn, but that was a great draw. And we still get the helmet, the mind reading helmet. I really laughed so badly when I saw this at uh, the movies the first time I've seen the movie, but I was young, so that's my excuse. The Mind Reading Helmet. On your turn when you draw a movement card, draw two. Choose one and discard the other. This is so cool. Problem is, burp, it comes to the game exhausted. So, <laughs> but okay, no, we can use it actually. No, it will refresh before we take our action here. Right, that's on my turn, on your turn. Cool stuff, wow, that's amazing actually. So this one goes away, we draw a new one. And what do we have here? North Shops, draw one power tile, get some school clothes, okay. Why not? Marty is right next to the North Shop, so he could go for maybe a more powerful power tile or so. Let's see about that. Let's try to move the DeLorean. I'm not sure if I should use my special ability first or if I should the remote control item. It's not very likely I'm moving it out, but over to that, I think it doesn't matter. So let's use the remote control. And I guess we have to activate some of those. So we are activating this. And again, we are going with this because again, we can transform those into wilds, which could definitely help us. Maybe we are, getting rid of this tile later on for this one here. Uh, this one here, I guess that could be the more powerful one. So we have exhausted those two. And again, in theory, we could move the DeLorean now three spaces. Or worst case, we could move Biff at least once. And wow, I take it, wow. So those are two movements. Here, again, I'm not so sure if every heart now counts as a wild. I I think it does actually. I think it does. I, I could really, really think it does. If I'm wrong, please let me know. I think there is no thing that, uh, there's no FAQ. There is a good FAQ at the back of the rule book, but I think it's not being mentioned there. So I really, really treat it now that these are really, it's transforming all of those symbols into, into wilds and not just one. Again, I could be wrong because again, when I <clears throat> compare something like this, I'm not sure if I can use it once or twice, actually. Maybe I should just, that I'm not getting told, hey, you cheated, I will do that. I will do that. Let's, let's only say we can only do that once, right? Yeah, 
<laughs> maybe it's maybe really playing against me. But before someone tells me, hey, you cheated, I will not do that. So I will move the DeLorean now one, two, three spaces. I mean, that's still progress. I take it and we still have an awful lot of tiles. And these are really the wrong tiles. There's nothing on the board that would help me, of course. I think I really should simply use them to hmm, hope for whiles or so. Ah, that's that's really bad. So maybe I really should. I need to get rid of one of those for those. I believe that's the better deal. I think that was the plan all along. Okay, we. I think we don't even need to move actually because again we can teleport to the DeLorean and pff, I don't know. Let's simply try this. So we are taking two green dice. And again, right now, only the flashes do count. I can reroll other symbols other than Biff. Keep that in mind. But maybe if I roll one, I'm pretty happy camper. So let's see about that. And OK, I take it. I really do take it. Again, I cannot reroll the Biff. So only thing that Biff does, he stands up, which is OK. But we managed to get one wild. So the DeLorean already moved into the street of Doc Brown. I think that's at least something. It's still an awful lot of steps and maybe again it's here. If I lose the game by one step here on the, on the DeLorean meter, Lorian track, then yes, I will blame it on my poor decision making. Ah, and now we are out of where we cannot teleport here. We have used the remote control. We still have two more dice. So I think I think, um, why not? So we will flip this to move in here. And we use this basically to you, uh, roll one more die. Again, the worst case would be we are rolling a biff, but that's done that. I think we really need to start or continue moving the DeLorean. And there is still a chance we are rolling. And those are two symbols. We can continue to re-roll it. And I think I do. Again, I wanted this. Awesome. That's the flash uh, to move him one space ahead. So I think that was still a pretty successful turn for Doc Brown. He has used all of his actions. So the only thing left to do is to make a choice in respect to this. But I guess I will make that decision as part of my next and most likely final episode of my playthrough here. So sorry for that cliffhanger. Most likely again, I'm going to get rid of one of those starting tiles because again, I have way too many of those and this gives me really a great, great flexibility in respect to the dice I'm rolling. So really, really helpful. I do hope you are still enjoying my little playthrough of Back to the Future back in time here again. If I missed this one up and I will also check the geek, I'm pretty sure someone asked this question too. This is something I can still easily repair. So if I would have been allowed to move it or use basically both hearts for those lightning symbols for the wilds, then I will simply move the DeLorean one step ahead. So I think no harm would be done here. And I think even even the other way around, I could take it back. So right now, that's still OK. A huge shout out to all of my patrons out there. Really, really, really do appreciate your support. To all the others, join me um, either on YouTube or yeah, support me on Patreon. Like and subscribe. Everything helps. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And yeah, until then, bye bye.